take two, one. Boom, and we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Uh, it's a very special episode. Again, well, they're all pretty much special because this one is a holiday recap. Uh, very Merry Christmas to everyone that is listening right now. And if you're listening to it in the future, Merry Past Christmas. However, what's really interesting about this is being Catholic myself, uh, being brought up Catholic, I actually celebrate Christmas, whereas Vish is uh, Hindu. Is there any specific religion that you, uh, is just called Hindu? Uh, you can say that, yeah. No, being brought up, I mean. Being like, brought up. Being yeah. brought up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay, so Hinduism. You, yeah. you, you are, you're of the Hindu faith, and uh, thus are diverging uh, paradigms and understandings of uh, spirituality have led to um, questions, mm -hmm. questioning faith. Actually, you know what's really funny? Uh, well, all right, so how was your Christmas, Michelle? Uh, for me, it's like a regular, I guess this year was on a Monday, so it was just a third day of work. It's pretty That's sweet. Yep, <laughs> yep, pretty sweet. So uh, uh, the, the correct answer is what Christmas? Okay. <laughs> no, but, all right, so anyways, so uh, one of the interesting things that I actually found growing up was that uh, because, like, well, you're my next-door neighbor, and we'd hang out all the time mm. along with other people, but uh, you were the only one that was not Catholic, right? Because mm -hmm. everyone else is Catholic that we knew. And because uh, the majority of religion, especially if you're Filipino. And uh, one of the most interesting things is, like, uh, being told as a child that, like, Catholicism is the way and anything that's not Catholicism is like wrong but then I go home and play with you and I'd be like wait a minute is Vish like evil you know what I mean like it's interesting that they bring up this uh, who says that teachers I went to Catholic school oh you went to Catholic school yeah I went to Catholic school that's what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, so yeah that's what I'm saying yeah so it, it really that's like I... pre-internet mm -hmm. uh, a lot of this stuff really came up of like like um I guess because, like, you know, when you, before the internet, there's no, like, collectiveness. Like, the, the internet really opened up uh, connectivity throughout the world, and you were able to, like, uh, engage with different belief systems. You know what I mean? Although I did have a, a world religions class in high school, so that was pretty cool. Like, that was the first time I learned about your your uh, religious faith. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so what – I'm just curious. Like, what is your perspective on, like, Catholic – Christmas like what is it what does it mean to you what does it mean so I could say the same thing to you what does it Diwali mean to you that's what I'm saying exactly same no, 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 yeah or it, exactly you go first and then I'm gonna go with Diwali uh it doesn't mean anything it's just another this is day off what do you mean I don't know it, oh, okay, okay it doesn't have anything to do with like, me but, but what do you think about like Catholics like you're just like no and, it's the same way oh I got I have uh, but every religion has their days right so Hinduism has got Diwali and stuff one of the big ones so the same way Christianity's got uh, Christmas and true. Jews got the Hanukkah. True, actually, yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, it's Ramadan funny? for a Muslim. So it's the same thing. I, that's so funny, actually. Now that you say it like that, because like I do know people who were going through Ramadan before, and I was like, oh, like you just can't eat. And I was like, oh, okay, I get it. And then like not to sound like insensitive, but like, and then for um, what was it the 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 Jewish one. What was it? Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Yeah, I remember I went to a, uh, is it Passover? I went to one of those events because it was a part of school, so, like, I, I decided to partake in it. Mm -hmm. And it was like, oh, this is interesting. Like, this is the culture that you guys prescribe to. But I was, like, the reason why I asked you is because, like, for me, Diwali actually meant something because I, I knew that you celebrated it. So, like, the time that um, I noticed that your mom would put up, like, Christmas lights that were so not, like, in time with us, I'd be like, oh, why are you celebrating Christmas now? Well, because Diwali is also the festival of lights. Right, right, exactly. Which is the same thing, you know. For, for sure, for sure. And and then, like, you'd have, like, a little uh, chalk outlines, I noticed. Mm -hmm. uh, what, are, what are they called? I think Rangolis. It's just Rangolis. drawings, yeah. It's just uh, whenever someone wants to enter your house, you, got, you see a nice... It's like a little bus. Like, like an entry thing, like a nice... Exactly, exactly, yeah, for sure. Like, I don't know what it, exactly, but it's just something... To decorate your house when someone wants to come right, in right, for right. these holidays that they have. Right, right. Okay, yeah. So so I guess it's interesting when you think of things in terms of, like, proximity. Because of the proximity effect, like, I actually was uh, – I was able to experience something 
of a different culture versus like I didn't know any Jewish people and I didn't know any uh, uh, Muslim people. Like I knew one Muslim person like later on, but didn't like I knew of them. Like I didn't mm-hmm. really like interact with them. Mm-hmm. So it's interesting how like when you separate the cultures in that way, you don't um, you don't like. Uh, they become like uh, what do you call that you're like dissociated from them Mm -hmm. so but do you find like any marginalization because you're in like Canada you know what I mean because like it's a very like uh, Catholic I guess culture because it's like you we there's no Diwali day off you know there's only like Christmas which is a predominantly Catholic thing Mm -hmm. or a Christian thing whichever way you want to look at it yeah but um, so do you feel like a sense of like marginalization no no you're just like you're just like oh sweet like I get a day off yeah okay does that I don't really get why would I get marginalized for that I don't know like does it like because I I don't know what that feels like so I'm just wondering like what that would feel like what that feels like from your perspective uh nothing I don't I don't I don't have any issues with that oh that's interesting all right I feel like people can though uh people can uh but you know what people do like so what I did during the Christmas holidays was uh, was my friend our um, family got together same way you guys do because <laughs> it's, it's also a day off right 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 right, right. So, so it's like oh well we got a day off might as well like chill yeah, yeah. but so isn't that interesting like the the sense of like uh, assimilation yeah no see what I found interesting was there like the whole arguments of people um, oh you gotta say happy holidays and stuff yeah so that was so, so, so funny so we're, we're talking to my dad because uh-huh. he's in India still uh-huh. and then um, my my aunt was there, uh-huh. and she said, "Oh, Merry Christmas!" I'm like, <laughs> "That's so funny." <laughs> we have really no issues with this stuff. <laughs> right, all right, so so okay, okay. That, that brings up two good points. First point is, remember when I was driving us back to our parents' places, yeah. and then my my mom was like, uh, <laughs> "My mom was like, Happy Holidays, Michelle." My dad's like, "Merry Christmas," and then my mom got upset at my dad. It's like, <laughs> "You say Happy Holidays to him." It was like, what? <laughs> And I said back, Merry Christmas. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but so yeah. that all right. So that's point one. <laughs> point two. It kind of attests to the fact that like uh, Christmas is becoming very like very much more commercial versus like Catholic or Christian, mm-hmm. right? Because like in the beginning it was very Catholic Christian. Like before the before the internet, like way before yeah, the internet. It's just meant for families to get together, you know, after a long years of work or whatever. So is it is it losing its touch? Like, are we becoming less and less? So like, what I'm wondering is like, is there a change happening? Are we becoming less and less Catholic um, or Christian as a as a country and more market driven? You know, because like Christmas is very marketed heavy. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like it's very Xmas. I remember when I was a kid, and then I was like, right Xmas. I was like, the hell's Xmas? <laughs> because it's like unknown. Like it's a merry something must. You know, and like. Um, yeah. And like, and like, if you look at the day after, which we were talking about earlier, was like Boxing Day. It's like it's another commercial one. Mm-hmm. So it's like maybe maybe commercialization is becoming our new way of uh, engaging with one another in a religious sense, versus like uh, actually having different spiritual beliefs. You know what I mean? Like uh, it's, well, it's yeah. Thing. Well, the gift part is very commercial. You, true, 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 true. Yeah, the, the gift but part. I think yeah. everyone does it though. I mean, in Diwali, you're going to give a gift. It's the same thing everywhere. Right, but 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 see, there's no Diwali day off, but there's like not here. You go uh, to India. No, no, but I'm talking about here because okay. we're here. Yeah. yeah so, so what what I'm wondering is like is is North America starting to become more market driven versus like spirituality driven? It's not even spirituality. It's more like uh, indoctrination, like belief system driven. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, do you remember as a kid? Like, there was totally a shift. And I began to really notice it. Mm-hmm. Even, in, even in my house, even as a kid, we, uh, I don't know why, but my mom also put up a Christmas tree. No way. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, see, there you go. There's a good example. It's like assimilation. Yeah. It's like, you're in Canada now. Like, yeah, well. of course. Yeah. Wow. Christmas tree. Of course. That's so funny. Yeah. If you go and live in other countries that have a predominant of a different religion, you're going to experience that more than what you were brought up with you know that's true yeah yeah. so it doesn't matter it's not i think you got to understand where you are and like where how that country started and what the majority of the people believe right they're gonna follow so so like it's almost like you can you can like 
distill it down to a country is a collective set of belief systems that people adhere to, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, and depending on where you are, you have to assimilate to some degree, mm -hmm. right? Um, wow, actually, this is a really bad topic. Uh, to like now that I think about it, because uh, it's very controversial. Because like a lot of people are like not wanting to assimilate, right? They want to keep their cultures. Yeah, yeah. Um, There's nothing know. wrong with that, but you can do that uh, like within your small club. I mean, it's it's hard to want it, like you know, convince others to change too. Like, it, with, so this is kind of funny because like we're we're two diverging points because yeah. your culture is very. Uh, not uh, Canadian, and my culture is is extremely Canadian because like it's we follow everything that's not everything I guess but, well yeah everything yeah, but again it's because like Philippines was like um, they were uh, colonized by the Spanish and then they became American so yeah. like our culture was lost you know mm -hmm. so like but India still had like a strong culture it's like although it became like colonized by the British. Uh, it still retained its sense of identity. Yeah, I think, yeah. It's just uh, the people are more inclusive. Like, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll bring that guy a part of our religion or whatever. But we won't is. forget who we are. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it makes sense as to why your mom got the uh, Christmas tree. But yeah, I was like, yeah, I asked her recently, too. I don't know. She didn't really have an answer for why we did it. but <laughs> No, but, but see, this, but this, it... this again attests to the commercialization of it all yeah, because, yeah. like, the Christmas tree isn't even Catholic. No. It's it's actually a commercial thing because yeah, we don't worship a Christmas tree in Catholic religion. It's yeah. a if your mom put up a cross, that'd be like, whoa, okay, what's yeah, going no, on here? No, you know, no, that that'd be a different thing, yeah. But but so like it's like it's like no matter what belief system divides us, money will ultimately unite us, <laughs> yeah. right? Like if you think about it, yeah. it's it sounds jaded, but it's like it's really not jaded. It's like if if you can get together behind one, the mm -hmm. only objective common belief system is the value of money yeah right of course so okay speaking of uh, values of money do you, do you have another point about christmas before i diverge into another year no i don't think so um did you have anything else <laughs> do you follow any of the things for like uh chris like do you do you guys well i guess well do you buy like christmas cookies and stuff i know my mom gave you stuff but like do you buy any yourself That'd be kind of interesting. It's like, you know, taking advantage of the holiday because, like, because <laughs> I saw a bunch of chocolate on sales. Like, okay, I got to buy this. But, I mean, again, I'm very no. North American. No. Like, do you? No, I don't, I don't even like really. So do you, do, you, do you spend Christmas, like, as a means to purchase something, like, for yourself? Uh, yeah, for myself. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, so. No, I do it for my own self, yeah. Right, right. So, so again, money wins overall because it's like you're using it as an excuse which you wouldn't normally buy for mm -hmm. yourself to buy it for yourself on this special day i do the exact same thing it's yeah. like all right well it's christmas you know we gave ourselves like an out <laughs> yeah <laughs> right it's weird so but money wins at the end <laughs> money wins at the end it's the only collective belief system that's really real money yeah. mm -hmm. uh, but okay so speaking of money uh tomorrow's boxing day Everyone's stoked about this, and we were reading uh, some of the reasons behind why it's Boxing Day. Because I was like, is this just like a com completely commercial idea? Did they just invent this mm -hmm. to uh, sp like people to spend more money? Right. And it turns out, uh, do you remember any? Like, I remember one was about. I was saying slaves, but you were saying servants. It's like the servants get the servants. a box from in Britain. The the servants get a box from oh, the masters. Oh, that was before, yeah. yeah. And then they bring that box home to their yeah. families. Yeah, because they would they would work uh, normal normally on Christmas days, uh, so that their day off would be uh, the next day. So okay, <laughs> which is, then becomes Boxing Day. Perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect. So my argument for this is like, are they alluding to us being like servants to the upper elite, the people with the most money? No, that was one viewpoint of it. It's a Brit British viewpoint, right? Yeah. And we were a British colony. Yeah. So... But there was whole, there was other reasons, too, though. Yeah. No, no, no. There was other reasons, too. I'm just, I'm just trying to go for the uh, the drama here. <laughs> but, all right, so, so what was another reason? So, you uh, the fox thing, they, outlaw, they outlawed like foxes. Like, they... Yeah, I think they were... Yeah, they had traditional fox hunting uh, part of their thing. Uh, this is British as well? 
I believe it was, yeah. For Boxing Day, they would hunt foxes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's kind of uh, random. Like, why a fox? Um, just to kill foxes. That's what they did. <laughs> were, like, foxes, like, evil? Back in the day? Like... No, it was, like, a sport. Oh, okay, okay. Foxes are pretty That's cool. what they were saying in that article. It was like You walked by a fox once. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you told me about that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the one of our cat and our catwalk, I didn't yeah, even yeah. realize that there was like a dog, and then oh, it walked crazy. by me, like he he didn't even get scared. Nor, like I was like, oh, because you're f- both going about your day. You're like, yo, what up, man? Just chilling. <laughs> we got a you know? we got a cross path, anyways. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right, what were you saying about that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they were saying that now the sporting is shopping. Oh, it's, it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's commercial. Like we're well, yeah, we're moving. I, I truly believe that we're moving away, especially because of the internet. We could read, like I'm reading the Bible right now. Well, I guess I'm Catholic. But I also read like the Upanishads, which is a Hindu thing. And then I read, uh, I just read different culture stuff, right? But how did I do this? Amazon. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying it's like the internet is making us more uh, united as one, right? And it's like, in the end, I feel like what what we're going to realize without even realizing, it's just naturally happening, it's even happening right now, is like we are a market-driven society that's only true belief is the belief of the value of the dollar. Yeah. Well, it's the only and, way our society, our society has already been set up that way, right? That spending money is the only way that money comes around to. But what's interesting is like, it's not even our society, it's like all things because it doesn't have to be a dollar it could be like a rock you know it's all about it's all about commerce Mm -hmm. you know all society everything does come down to a commercial transaction yeah you know Um, what makes money or what makes the world go around money that's yeah that's very true and like if we look at um the other holidays in relation to this one like christmas is a predominantly uh market driven holiday Mm -hmm. Uh, Boxing Day is oh, 100%. Why is Black Friday? You were saying something about like British versus America. No, they, just, they don't do Boxing Day over in America. Yeah, they do Black Friday, right? Yeah. Is there, like, why is, why is there a Black Friday again? It's like the holiday, the new season shipment or something? Uh, I have no idea. I, didn't, I did not look up that one. Uh, okay. But that happens right after their Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. And we oh, okay. have a different Thanksgiving also. So, so, so again, if you look at it, it's kind of funny. It's like we, where they're like, okay, we want to be similar to the British, but not exactly the same, <laughs> but we still need to spend money. So, <laughs> yeah, Mike Ripe was like, why do they get it? Well, it's now Boxing Day or Black Friday is now pretty much everywhere. They have taken over everywhere. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for but, sure. But uh, my Ripe right before when they didn't do that, I was like, why do they get to have. Uh, what do you call um, discounts? S- yeah, discounts before the Christmas Day, and we get it after when everyone's already spent their money. Oh, that's true too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's like <laughs> logical reasoning on your part. But it's it's weird because it's like they they pump. Okay, so another holiday would be like Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very commercial. Of course. Uh, family Day is also commercial because it's meant to be spent with your family doing something. Yeah, some like activity. Um, Oh, what other holidays are there? You know that every month you get a holiday. Yeah, I I just realized yeah, I that don't at the have... end of school. Yeah, like when school was ending, I was like, oh, there's one holiday every month, but... except for in February, which is why they created. Uh, no, there is another month that we don't have. I think, like a day off in Canada day day? at least. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I remember that they. That's why they put in Family Day because like. Yeah, because we didn't have enough. And I, I think we yeah. need more. No, that's true too. Yeah. But, like, so of all these holidays, they all seem, like, money-driven. You know what would be really interesting to see? A do-not-spend-money holiday. <laughs> Could you imagine that? But that's the whole – I want – because, like, knowing how, like, business systems operate, it's, like, I believe that they do this on purpose because they need the commercial transactions to run. Because, like, uh, you know, like, World War Two, right? Uh, World mm-hmm. War One. They went into uh, the Great Depression – only because everyone got scared and they weren't spending their money. People pulled their money out of the banks and then uh, hid them under their mattresses, literally, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And like, which is dumb because you need money in the banks so that they could circulate the money to other people because it's it's a lending economy, right? It's like, uh, I'll take your money and then give it to somebody else to start his business and then that person's money, like blah, 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 blah transaction, right? Yeah. Um, and it's like, 
if all of these hol- if like these holidays were not set up in a way for us to spend money, like whereas we have discounts, then we would probably just crash again. We would 100% crash again because there'd be no money. I think that's also how the uh, American bank and the housing crisis, like they failed because they had like fake loans and then people started trying to take their money out and then they couldn't pay back their debt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so there, there you go. It's like a money society driven thing. Yeah. That's why you got to spend. You know what's funny about like uh, discounts? How, uh, so like on our fridge over there, there's like a Michael's discount thing and it's like, uh, it's like 50% off, 60% off, but it's funny because I, I actually shop at Michael's like relatively frequently. Mm-hmm. So like, I know that if you go online, you get 50% discounts all the time. So it's like, what is that really doing? It should just say, you can get one free item. That'd be a real discount. Right. You know what I mean? Cause like you're selling me something you already offer, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, you know they do that in stores as well. Like uh, they'll put they'll package things together um, that are well. It's it won't even be on sale. They'll just put it to make you think it's on sale, and then you'll buy it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, if there's like uh, overstock of uh, uh, it was in my operations management class. It's like if you uh, if there's an overstock of like toilet paper, you bunch all the toilet paper at the front of the the uh, mm-hmm. store and then people will think oh toilet paper is on sale but it's really not on sale it's just it's presented that way right. to make you psychologically like the heuristics again like those mm-hmm. mental shortcuts right uh, that's interesting yeah again money uh, so but, any uh, well, there's nothing wrong with money though no there's, there's nothing there's, there's nothing wrong with money no no yeah. it's just you, you need money but it's just it's funny that we we argue all the time about like inclusivity you know like i want my religion to be number one i want my religion to be number one but it's like we all have a common religion it's money <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? but we never really think about it mm-hmm. yeah oh well, yeah so um i think it was a good christmas recap is there anything in particular that you bought yourself uh for boxing day i did uh, a couple of games oh okay well what ones uh, Wolfenstein, almost oh, like. Oh, why Wolfenstein, bro? That's really good. Got really? Good, it got good, a good sword? Got a good review, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. All right. Wolfenstein 2 and uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Nice, nice. So. Yeah, and I am looking at a third monitor and... Uh, Crazy. <laughs> and uh, what do you call that? A, a wall mount. So commercial. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Go get that money. Yeah, we'll see. See tomorrow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. You know what the funny part is? It's like it's because it's like Boxing Day. The, all the sales are there. It's like where we're gonna go just to see what the sale is. And there's a high probability we might buy something. Or actually, a high probability I might buy something. You have a lot of self control. <laughs> I buy I buy stuff all the time. So <laughs> that's not good. Yeah. I like to do more. Like you, you know what? You know what? It's because I'm very pious. <laughs> okay. I am a big believer in religion. That's why. So like, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna yeah. interact with my God, aka money. <laughs> you know, facilitate it. Right. I'm the one that uh, makes the economy crash. Yeah, you, you're agnostic, both monetarily <laughs> and religiously. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well, before we end, I guess, what's the difference between agnostic and uh, atheist, Just from your opinion? Uh, agnostic. Uh, the, um, do you have, like, knowledge? Gnostic is knowledge. Do you know? Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I know this. I know this. Wait, wait. I asked you, but, like, I know. Th- no, okay, okay. You explain it, and I explain it. Blow your mind with this. Okay, go ahead. Explain it. Do you know? Uh... Do I know what it means? No, no, yeah, yeah. just no. Explain what what you mean. You're correct. I mean, like, I've yeah, heard you yeah. Think. Gnostic is just uh, knowledge, right? So you, and what agnostic is, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And atheist is uh, a personal viewpoint that there is no god. Right. Okay. Okay. So those are the general um, understandings of agnostic and atheist. That's like a hundred percent true. People believe in that, like that they've agreed upon that. Mm-hmm. I'm blowing your mind with this one. Cause I just, I was like, wow, like what do I think it means? And then I, I realized something that I learned in university. So like, there's the trick 
of when you understand how words are put together, you can figure out. So like when I was doing a test, it's like I just read the word. I'm like, okay, this is the definition because the definition is within the name, mm -hmm. right? Um, so A means opposite. Yeah, okay. Right, so A priori, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like A, what's another A? <laughs> A... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, whatever. So theist means uh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Gnostic means knowledge. So A, Gnostic, agnostic. If you just put it together, it becomes agnostic. Yeah. And atheist, so opposite of knowledge, opposite of um, theism. So <laughs> atheist, yeah. atheist, no God, agnostic, don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's my blow. No. Well, I mean, if you understand words, like, that's just, so if they're listening to the podcast, they're like, oh. That, that's how that's I learned the, the definition of agnostic, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. oh that's... What gnostic is and what agna, like, ag part is. Oh, means. That's, that's how I learned how to study. <laughs> recently. Yeah. Well, generally, I would say everyone's an agnostic. No one True. Really has yeah. knowledge. Oh, dropping bombs. Okay. That's a good one, actually. I agree with that. And then you add the personal opinion at the end of it. So you're an agnostic Ooh. theist or you're an agnostic atheist. Ooh. Ooh, I agree with that one. I didn't even think about that one. That's, That's how true. I use the term. Because nobody knows. Yeah. You, can't, you can't definitively say that you know there is a God. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. I take that back. I, I can definitively say that I know there's a God. Because what do you, I mean by God? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The theist part is uh, personal opinion. Theist. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, I understand what you mean. Yeah. I understand what you mean. It's like, do you have knowledge meaning based on evidence or whatever? Right. No one does, nor do I, that there right. is or isn't. Right, right, right. But what if, what if my God is... No, see, I think you're thinking in terms of, like, religion. Yeah, I'm talking about religion. And, and, and I'm thinking more in terms of science, because my God is science. So it's like, I would say that God is, like, nature. Well, then... then it's my definition. No, 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 but, but, but then if you do it that way, then you got to define what God means to you. What I was talking about know, specifically yeah, yeah. is religion. Yeah, yeah The exactly, God exactly. of religion. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We're, we're if you're saying out. God is science... That's different because you're. That's a metaphor use now. Yeah, it's it's metaphorical. Yeah, it, oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Why wow, blow my mind today? Um, uh, you're right. You're right. Um, for me, God is a metaphor. It's not literal. But if you literally believe in God, then you're right. You have to go with agnostic theist, agnostic atheist, yeah. because you really don't know. Yeah. But I don't even play in the realm of God, so it's like I would not be in that category right yeah oh that's mind blow okay yeah so if you're out there and you listen and you believe in god always tell people that you don't really know if you believe in god <laughs> but you believe you believe in god you don't know because <laughs> everyone just has a belief right. that is the the personal opinion i don't know but i believe mm. and if you say you do know i don't have the knowledge but but, but you, i believe but if they say i do know there's a god then you ask them, how much do you want to charge me? <laughs> because there's usually a price tag at the end of that one. <laughs> Especially when you read books that say, um, I am God. Mm -hmm. As, that was one of our previous podcasts. Like, if you're wondering about this one, like, go listen to our uh, spiritual podcast. I don't know what, know what one that was. We were going, oh, I, I was going hard because I was like, she's about a happy science. Calling mm. them out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's too happy. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, um, yeah. At the end of that book, just spoiler alert, because I read that one cover to cover, reading the Bible cover to cover right now too. But uh, at the last line of that book is, "I am your master, follow me." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> Should be in parentheses. Give me your money. Yeah, exa exactly. And nobody told him, you know, you might be. No, he wouldn't fall under the cat. What if you believe your God? Can mm -hmm. you be agnostic? Are you still agnostic? If yours is like, I'm like, mine's a metaphor, but if you believe you're God, what do you call that? Like, what you would you believe you're God? Yeah, so it's like, and it's you like, you call that a delusion. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> so you can be a deluded theist <laughs> or a deluded atheist. Sure. 
Oh, okay, okay. I see. I see how. Yeah. But all right. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's just let's just end it here. It's <laughs> kind of like yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna get into some badness. But okay. Uh, so <laughs> till next time. Well, what's your final takeaway? Actually, that was a good final takeaway about the whole agnostic before. But go ahead. Go ahead. The final, final takeaway. Yeah, final takeaway. Or mm. final final. What was that? Your what do we always say? Your final message, something like that? I don't know, yeah, yeah. final words, I guess. Yeah, 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 final thoughts. Thoughts, final words. Oh. Uh, just go have fun, spend some money. I was, I was, that was gonna be mine. I was gonna say goodbye something. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Until next time, take it easy. See ya.